Righteous Felon Craft Jerky is the official jerky of Belly Up Sports. For over a decade, Righteous Felon Craft Jerky has led the American meat snack revolution by concocting delicious, adventurous, U.S. sourced jerky recipes for uncompromising carnivores across the country. With 15 different flavors to choose from, Righteous Felon has all jerky lovers covered, and by using promo code BELLYUP, you will get 15% off your purchase at RighteousFelon.com. Do your taste buds a favor today and rip into a bag of Righteous Felon Jerky. Oof, Manchester United, bro. Whoa, this is this is starting to get a little out of hand, man. Obviously, coming off of a 3-0 loss uh, to... Uh, to to Liverpool, um, a li- yeah, it, it was a it, it's been a rough outing for Manchester United, man. There's, uh, it, 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 I I don't know, I I really don't know, man. Um, obviously you come off of a win against, uh, I believe it was Fulham that that uh Manchester United played for the opening week, um, and then having to, uh, you know, obviously suffer a loss against, uh, again, yeah, so. You get a what you, you you scrape a one nil victory against Fulham. Say what you want. Yes, it's a scraping. Eighty seven minute. Yeah, it's a scraping. Um, you know, but it was like, hey, you got the win. That's all that matters, right? Then you go into Brighton, a match that, yeah, it, it wasn't looking good. But honestly, in hindsight, if you watch the game, you would have said that Manchester United definitely were the better team. But that doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, you got to put one in the back of net, and that's what. Uh, Brighton did. They won two one, and now you go here to this three nil shellacking. Uh, and, and I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, statistics uh, statistically possession was very fifty fifty. Uh, but I mean, you know, obviously, just unfortunate shots, man. Just unfortunate that nothing, nothing went in the back of the net. Um. I wouldn't say it was Liverpool's best performance, but like I said, when it came down to it, they're the ones that scored the goals and Manchester United didn't. So, yeah, really just a rough uh, r- rough stretch of games right now for Manchester United. And it, it's it, it's there's a lot of pressure now, right? You know, Ten Hag, they kept him. Um, for what reason, people still don't know. But, I mean, I'm going to say people are going to back off a little bit, um, at least initially, because... Their next their next match is against Barnsley, which I mean that's uh, that's Carabao Carabao Cup, uh yeah. So Barnsley, you're gonna have Crystal Palace. Maybe that could be a win for them. Uh, they're gonna need they're gonna need that to be a win. Um, you know you're you're gonna have a an Europa League match. Uh, that that's like on the 25th, and then you got Tottenham. Tottenham is going to be the la- the the at the end of the month you got Tottenham, um, which could be a ch- you know that could be one of those where you definitely want to get some points off of, and uh, and yeah, the, there's pressure on Manchester United man once again like you know it, it's funny because um when I was recording Wake Up MLS over at Goals TV, we were talking about this a little bit, and you know I I said it I was like you know if Manchester United and Chelsea are almost almost identical to each other they've been spending a lot of money and it hasn't really been panning out uh the only difference is obviously you know Chelsea has been going through coach to uh, going through coaches whereas Manchester United has been sticking with Ten Hag at least as of right now um but almost identical teams both have been performing very rough um as far as you know where they, the expectations are for those two teams um but yeah man Man Manchester United it's it's not looking good for them right now it's uh they need they need they need something man they need something they need something to start clicking uh right away um or else i'm not gonna lie to you man ten hog ten hog might be getting a getting the sack this at this at some point um i know that it, you know a lot of people are criticizing casemiro and i really do think casemiro is just he's just not up for it anymore man he's just not up for this level he's just not man um he should have gone to saudi he should have Got one more big paycheck, before, but yeah, he 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 was definitely a, a massive problem in that Liverpool game. Um, yeah, you can't you can't have results like that, man. You just can't. And this is as someone that that you know obviously appreciates everything that Casemiro has done because you know I'm a Madridista, but yeah, it, it's it's not a good look for 
for uh, Casemiro. And I, I mean, big props to his wife for trying to like hype him up. Like, you tell me my husband sucks, but look, here's all his trophies. It, it doesn't justify anything. I mean, yes, he has pedigree, but that just means that it, it, it yeah, it, he's not the same guy from years ago. He's not the guy that was part of that uh, amazing midfield of Modric, Cruz, and, and him. So, I mean, touche, I guess. I don't know. I can't. Re- I really don't know what to say for that one. But, uh, yeah, man, Manchester United. They they, they need they need something to, something needs to work out for them. Um, I thought that they were going to be very interesting this season. Uh, clearly, I was partially wrong on that. I, it's also still very early. I, I also want to point that out. It's still very early in the season to be uh, criticizing anything just yet, but it's Manchester United, man. There's going to be so much pressure, so much press on them um, that that it's going to affect them in some form. So I, I do think that the pressure is on for Manchester United, um, and it's also because of the fact, like I said, it's 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 a team of that magnitude that there's going to be constant pressure from the me- from the media. And so it's, it's just that's how it's going to be for them um, right now. But, yeah, Manchester United, they're in um, – I, I would say definitely uh, in in the team meeting phase of, yeah, we need to figure something out. I, I think that's where they're on now. Like they need to have like a players owing, only meeting and, and try to, you know, get something going because, yeah, Ten Hag, Ten Hag isn't staying anytime soon if they keep getting results like this. Um, yeah, it's 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 going to be very alarming. It's still early in the season, so I don't want to, I don't I don't want the panic button to be uh brought up yet. But I mean, if you know how Manchester United fans, if you know how Manchester media is, the panic button is definitely something that they're looking at right now. So yeah, there is that. 